As we move up the trust curve, we encounter risk-based trust or contract-based trust. This revolves really about your vulnerability, the acceptance of a certain level of vulnerability based on the calculated costs of maintaining or severing a relationship. In essence, the long-term benefits of the relationship outweigh any short-term benefits from opportunistic or coercive behaviour. And this is the moment when you start to notice a few customers becoming more and more important to your month or quarter end target achievement. And that starts to lead into shallow dependence. And you'll, you'll be operating in a relationship which really needs to start to deliver against your expectations doing what you said you were going to, and, and starting to share information. And at this level, discretion starts to develop around sensitive information areas within a relationship. And this can often be seen through both parties agreeing how confidentiality can be protected and or ring-fenced, as is often evidenced through non-disclosure agreements, customer audits, uh, contracts, service level agreements. And your commercial interaction can be quite transactional and lead to quite a lot of firefighting, problem solving. And these can be uh, quite effective relationships if you manage them in the right way and don't try and, and load additional uh, value into those relationships. And often these uh, lead to self-service, uh, a high level of online. And, and be careful because it can be tempting for commercial teams to pursue large customers who deliver scalable value and volume and, uh, and this is often an approach which is supported by enthusiastic financial team who see the cost out opportunities through operational effic efficiency and effectiveness. However, unless the relationship is on an equitable footing, you can find yourself getting into shallow dependence. And this can lead into deep dependence, which which has uh, the impact potentially on increasing levels of investment, cost out solutions and margin erosion. So be uh, cognizant of that as you as you look at who to develop and how to develop. And next we start to move up the S curve and we'll look at knowledge and competency based trust in the next one in our series. If you'd like to know more about where, you th where your customers currently sit on the S-curve or how to develop customers up the S-curve or manage them effectively where they currently sit, then give us a call.